Guys, just a few days ago, I uploaded two videos on Phoenix OS, and I was thrilled to see some great support from you. However, some people were facing issues either with Phoenix OS not booting or encountering errors. That's why I thought, why not provide you with a modified version of Phoenix OS that is 10 times better in terms of performance. Installing this Android OS is a bit complicated, but if you watch the entire video, I am entirely confident that you'll be able to install it easily. One more thing, if this video gets 100 likes, I promise, I will test this operating system on this old laptop, which is only 1 GB RAM and a Pentium processor. So now, let's begin. Let's roll. Before moving towards the installation process, let me show you the specifications of my PC. Take a look. My PC has only 2 GB RAM and a 2.40 GHz processor. Now, let me also show you the graphics card. See, my PC has a 64 MB Intel HD graphics card. So now, let's move on to the steps of the installation process. Guys, you can find the links to download these files from my website, and you can easily access my website through the About section of my channel and it's compulsory to download all of these files. Firstly, we'll install Disk Genie. Installing it is quite simple. Start by extracting the zip file, then launch the setup. Choose the directory for installation and complete the setup. After installation, copy these two files, paste them into the Disk Genius directory, and click the Replace button. Now, Disk Genius is successfully installed. Simply launch it. From this point onward, our main task begins, so it's crucial not to skip any part of the video. Otherwise, you might encounter errors during the boot process. First, you need to select the partition where you want to install the Asus OS. For instance, if I'm installing it in the 8GB drive, I'll select the 8GB partition. Be careful not to accidentally select a Windows partition or any other partition containing important data. After that, Right-click on the partition and choose the format option. Then, select EXT4 and type ASUS in the volume label. Click on Format. One hour later. Now, open this drive and create a new folder inside it. And name this folder ASUS. Inside this folder, create another new folder and name it Data. In the next step, you need to extract the ASUS OSISO file. After the extraction is complete, you need to copy these exact files that I am copying and paste them into Disk Genius. Then, select this downloaded file and then drag and drop it directly into Disk Genius. Now, Disk Genius has done its job. You can close it. In this step, we need to install Grub2Win. To install it, you must have an internet connection, otherwise it won't install. The download has already started here. During the download, make sure not to click on this spot on the screen, otherwise the download might fail. Once the download is complete, you will see the Grub2Win logo on the desktop. Simply double-click on it to launch. Now, go to the Manage Boot menu and click on Add New Entry. After that, you need to enter the type and select the submenu here. In the title section, you need to type ASUS OS 32-bit. After that, click on Edit Custom Code. Once you're in this section, copy this grub code, then paste it here. Afterward, save it and click on OK. Now, click on the Apply button. In the next step, you need to tick mark this operating system and again click on the apply button. So, friends, our work is done here. Now, you need to restart your PC. As you can see, the boot menu has appeared. Select Grub2 for Windows from this boot menu. After that, choose Asus OS and press Enter. Press Enter again and now the loading process of our ASUS OS has started. It will take around 5 to 10 minutes to complete, so let's allow it to finish. One eternity later. After the loading is complete, we need to set up our OS, so let's do it. So, guys, finally, our ASUS OS has been successfully installed, 
and you can see how much faster it is compared to the original Phoenix OS. If I show you the Android version of this OS, you will find Android 7. Many people may hesitate to try this OS thinking there might be a Wi-Fi problem. But if I show you, you can see my Wi-Fi is currently connected without any issues. In this OS, you'll find full key mapping support, and there are some extra apps available that can help fix lag in games. Overall, it's a pretty good operating system and is much better than Phoenix OS. What are your thoughts about this OS? Do let me know in the comments. If you encounter any problems, you can contact me on Facebook or Instagram. The links are in the description.